Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is May 3rd, 2024. Have a little extra time to take Penny on her walk. Hope you're all doing great today. It is a Friday morning. It's going to be a beautiful day out. We've got a day full of maintenance calls and taking care of people's systems. So that'll be fun and exciting. It's hard to believe. Time keeps marching right along. I, uh, I get to work tomorrow as well. So I'm excited about that. It'll be, it'll be fun. I mean, at dance last night, I was talking to uh, one of the other dads who was there. He asked me about my podcast, and we were just talking about it. And I mentioned that it, Everything I do is with one goal, and that is how do I collapse time between where I am and we are today and where I want to go in the future. And so everything I do is around how do I understand what's currently being done and then can I do things to increase the speed at which those things happen? And so that's why this podcast is designed, like the last couple of days, I throw my glasses on while we're driving between appointments. I've got the back of the service experts tech truck right in front of me. So I've got marketing pre-embedded into the video as I talk about the problems we solve and what we do. And the goal is to take what I do on a day-to-day -day basis in the real world, document it through my blog in order to collapse time between where we are as an organization, where we are as a team, and where we want to go. So, currently with service experts, since we have a nationwide team, I can collapse time for everyone on our team through my blog by building the brand, not just here in Boise, but across the US and I can collapse time for our team by putting this content out there and saying hey if you have an HVAC company come join our team talk to the people at service experts figure out what it would take to get acquired and still run your business still maintain control but join our team you get the backing of a publicly traded company. You get the systems and processes. You get the employee support. You get the marketing. You get, they've got an entire business model in a box ready for you. And the more people that join our team at Service Experts, the faster we as a team can grow, which means finding more clients, which means finding more employees, which means finding more HVAC companies that want to join our team. Attention is the key driver in our society. And so that's why everything I do is around this concept of how do we collapse time? How do we collapse time to get the result we're trying to get as quickly as possible. And I believe the reason America's holding company can collapse time is because a company's ownership is based 
on today's profit and future profits. And since you can never go back in time, the company is operating the way the company operates. People want to be a part of it, great, they can. If they think it's too risky, great, they don't have to be. That's the beauty of life. But one way or another, I'm going to live my life based on my moral compass and based how based on how I believe I can leave the greatest impact in society. And people can either accept me living my life that way or they cannot. But either way, it's their choice. It's not my choice. It's my choice how I live my life. It's their choice if I'm involved in their life at all. And it, it is true for everyone. And so that's when I'm out talking to people and trying to accomplish things. Everything I look at is how long until this scenario is going to happen again? If it happens again within the next three months, this scenario is kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme of time, in the grand scheme of life. Because you get so many options to relive it, like in sales. You're running four or five sales calls a day. Getting upset about any one sales call is irrelevant. It's fruitless because you're going to be running more. But it all comes down to belief and how you determine how you want to live your life. So, life's about choices. What choices do you make and why do you make them? big one anyways I'm gonna hit the road I sure do love what I'm doing right now if anybody needs HVAC stuff I know a guy reach out service experts we're all over the country all right we'll talk to y'all soon <laughs> We are cleaning out the coil. I get there. This thing's pretty nasty. Yeah. And so the benefit to cleaning off the coils like this is it allows the air to cool down better and it releases the heat easier. Is that right? Yeah. So it lets more air flow through the coil, which will pull more heat off of the refrigerant. Which helps you be more efficient and cool the house better. Okay, cool. Ah, Everything <laughs> Yeah, there is some dirt on this one. Oh, yeah. And, like, all the lint is bad, but the dust is really bad, so that's what'll hold in a lot of that heat. Oh. And being right off the wind and stuff, they probably get a ton of that dust. So, it, the dust is almost like an insulation that keeps the heat trapped inside the refrigerant. And so if it's not cleaned off, the heat will just cycle. Interesting. Alright, you wanna get this one? Yep. Mm-hmm.
All right, I'll let you kink it. Sweet. We just got our first project done. It is great. It was a uh, good cleaning, uh, advantage client, so we took care of everything. We got a great, their uh, AC was really dirty uh, on the outside, like the coils, so got to wash them off. Make sure you're washing off your coils. Uh, one thing the tech taught me is if the coils aren't... Um, so the dust and debris acts like insulation and so that's why we clean them off is because if the coils aren't cleaned off it keeps the heat in the refrigerant and cycles it back into the house instead of dumping it outside so that's why you clean your coils who knew i did it <laughs> anyways a great call and we're off to our next one so remember HVAC, call service experts. We're here for you. We are here for ya. Mm -mm -mm. What a fun day. Working with Jordan's been really fun. He's a really nice guy. Really nice guy. That's why I'm, I'm loving the people I get to meet doing this. It's so fun to see all the different people from different walks of life and what they're doing and talking to people. It's really awesome. I really enjoy it. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you need me, you know where to find me. Yeah, they're dirty. Oh, yeah. You know, I've thought about, like, on something like a really bad one, taking a video of, like, watching them and putting it on, like, that, like, oddly satisfying subreddit. 100%. That is my goal with recording this right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see some good ones today, I'm sure. Nice. There was one yesterday that was just full cottonwood. Oh, really? Yeah, it was gnarly. Like, I had to wash it like three times over just to get the full pelt off. Oh, my God. That's nuts. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's like my favorite part of working in the summer. Just spray hot air conditioner. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I love power washing for that. It, it's so satisfying watching it. 
Have you seen those like SB mowing and companies that monetize through the content instead of through the service? I don't think so. Oh wait, maybe. So like on, I saw more on like TikTok. I was just saying, is that like the people on TikTok that go around and they're like, hey, can I mow your lawn for free? Yep. And so they monetize it all through affiliate marketing and stuff like that. So they'll do like one crazy bad y yard a week. Right. And then they take two or three days and process the content. And then they're done because of how they monetize it. It's not through selling the service. It's through how they used what they did during the service. Right? That's kind of interesting. And that, so, that's why I think people don't look about, look at time as the asset it is. I, I believe the true value of time's never been compensated in our society. Okay. Because you can't go back and change anything. Obviously, you can't. Once it's used, it's used. Right. It's the most perishable commodity on earth. You can always make another 20 bucks. You can't make another hour. Exactly. And then because of technology, we've increased the speed at which money changes hands and everyone involved, but we've never increased the speed at which we put money back in the hands of the people who create the products and services that drive our society. I believe that's why we're going to go through the depression we're going to go through over the next couple of years. I can see that. Because, yeah, the whole, like, balance between work and life. And... Totally. Yeah, that's been, like, a big fight for a while, now. Totally. And nobody knows how to solve it. And I think the reason why is because no one's looked at the common denominator in every chart you ever look at is time. So how does that play into our entire world? So that's my whole podcast and everything I do is around documenting my journey through time to share these ideas and thoughts to hopefully... Have you seen the movie Inception? Yeah. I love that movie. I'm trying to do Inception on the entire U.S. through my content. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Yeah, that's very interesting. So, that's how I think we change the world. Oh, my bag. Right? I love it. Good work. Just got his house nice and clean. The system's running as expected. We're uh, running down to the shop now. I'm gonna get some more supplies, drop off some garbage, and then head out to the next house. So it'll be fun. I'm listening to a uh, Getting Naked by Patrick Lencioni. And it's it's about transparency and vulnerability and building relationships. Really good book so far. Highly recommend it. What do you guys do when you're out? Anyone else who's a road warrior out driving around? What what are some of your favorite books? What are the things that you do? You like to read or listen to while you're cruising. I'd love to know. Alright, we rocked it! We got the last job of the day done! It was so much fun. I'm really enjoying getting to learn a trade. 
It, it's funny comparing it to what I've all because I've always been more sales and marketing, more hands off, not in the field. It's such a different experience. I really like it. I've I've actually thought about maybe I should become a tech and just do the techy stuff. I don't really want to do that, but I've thought about it. <laughs> no, it's been it's been a lot of fun. And it, I love I love this whole process. Showing up with a tech and just taking care of people. Getting their systems up and running and ready to go. So anyways, that is my update for today. We'll uh, talk to you guys all soon. <laughs>